Hi, my name is Glenn. I'm the Odds Coach. Today we're going to be talking about what is against the spread and more specifically what spread betting is. Spread betting was invented around the 1920s to try to balance games where the skill level was quite different between the two teams. Uh, this made it more likely for people to place a wager on the weaker side uh, and thus the sportsbook could balance their money out. So uh, really it's like spotting points to the weaker team before the game begins or taking away points from the stronger team depending on which side you're betting on. We typically see spread betting in NFL and NBA in, in high scoring um, types of games. Uh, but sometimes you can see some spreads uh, in other sports. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to work through a few examples so that you understand uh, how spread betting works. Uh, let's take this NFL game uh, scheduled to be played in September here between uh, Carolina and Denver. The odds uh, and spreads have been released for this already. So we can see that uh, the spread for this game has been released at minus 3, plus 3. Uh, minus three for Cal uh, for uh, Carolina and plus three for Denver. Um, what that means is that when you ta have the final score of the game, you're going to have to subtract three points from Carolina uh, and then reevaluate the score to determine whether Carolina's won. Or likewise, if you've taken Denver, you're going to add three points to Denver's score at the end of the game and determine whether or not Denver has beaten um, Carolina. Something to pay close attention to in spread betting is that sometimes the odds will move. Uh, most typically you'll see minus 110, minus 110 on either side of the bet. Uh, in this example, uh, we're seeing a plus 100, minus 120. So what that means is that uh, if you uh, bet uh, Carolina against the spread, uh, you place a $100 bet on that, you're going to win an additional $100. But Denver, uh, if you were to place a $100 bet on Denver and they were to win uh, with the points, uh, you're only going to win $83.33 uh, because of the way the odds are. Uh, a lot of people don't pay very close attention to those, uh, those little subtleties, uh, but make sure that uh, you're really properly judging your risk and doing your math before you place a wager. Um, so let's take this example and we'll uh, put some numbers up as scores uh, to see the result. So here we have, uh, let's say, an outcome of 21-17. So Carolina outright wins the game. But before we can uh, evaluate that, we have to subtract the three points that uh, if, should we have bet on Carolina. So that puts us down to 18-17. to 17. Uh, which still has Carolina winning. So you're going to win your bet on Carolina in that case. Um, to evaluate the Denver side, you're just going to add three points to the 17, which gives you 20. You're still going to lose the game 21 to 20. Um, so that's a losing bet on Denver. Now let's try uh, a different example uh, where you have a final score of 14 to 12. So in this case, at the end of the game, you're going to have to subtract your three points from Carolina, which is going to put you at 11. So 11 to 12. A bet on Carolina minus three uh, with that score is going to lose. And likewise, Denver, you take and add three points to their score, 12, puts you up to 15 to 14. So Denver's going to win that bet. Now, there's a, a pretty common situation uh, in spread betting called a push. And it's when you add or subtract points uh, and give yourself a tie. So let's take the example just for ease of uh, 14 to 11. In this case, Carolina minus 3 is 11. You end up with a tie. Denver plus 3 is 14. You end up with a tie. You don't generally want this as a sports better. The sports book doesn't generally want it either. Uh, they'll make no profit from a contest like this, and you'll have uh, uh, an opportunity cost wasted. Uh, typically, you'll see spreads adding 
a half point. Now what that means is that no matter what, there's going to be an outcome. There's going to be a winner of this game. Uh, so let's take this example here. Should the spread have been minus 3.5 plus 3.5? If you were to subtract 3.5 from 14, you're going to get 10.5, 10.5 to 11. Carolina loses this bet. Likewise, if you add 3.5 points, you end up with 14.5 to 14, and Denver wins this, uh, this bet. So that's what the half point means in the spread, just making sure that you get a result. So the example is exactly the same uh, in basketball. You just add points, add half points to try and determine uh, which side's going to win that, that particular game. So that's spread betting. If you took anything away from this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Also remember that each video uh, has an associated article on oddscoach.com where we go into a little more depth and there's downloadable files. Also on Odds Coach, you'll find calculators, more in-depth betting articles, and sportsbook reviews. Thanks again for watching.